Hey guys, welcome back to Apollo Justice. In the last one... I don't rock. <laughs> okay, let's just begin. So, the poison stamp has been murder weapon aimed at him. Oh, rich. That's rich. Leave the ridiculous flight of fancy of the Gavinier song lyrics, please. Finally, something we agree on. <laughs> the stents was the, a murder weapon. Nonsense. The murder is a simple business. Would go such length. No one. Oh, I disagree. Come again? Recall if you would, the victim's reclusive lifestyle. Drew Misham hid from the world. He avoided meetings. He only contacted with the outside world. Oh, was the mail. Oh, the mail! Yes, the mail, the good old days. Now, if you wanted to kill someone, you would, wouldn't meet, meet, couldn't meet, but you could read letters. A stamp would be that perfect weapon. Ridiculous. Where your proof? I want proof. Show your evidence. This poison stamp that was sent to him as the murder weapon. I might not have evidence per se, but the thing, the finally things are coming together. <sighs> what is it, Apollo? The, your fists are trembling. I think I know what's happening. I. I don't believe it, but I can see it. I think I know how Miss, Mr. Misham was killed. Well, fill us in, Mr. Justice. A certain piece of evidence points to the truth, Your Honor. I can show you how someone with the instant to kill sent Mr. Misham the stamp to death. Okay, I can show you how someone with the intent to kill. Would it be this? Wait. Um. Wait. 
Isn't this the envelope the one from seven years ago? Think about the text of the letter again. Mr. Drew Misham, I, I deposited 1,000 in the, in the, okay. And this is page two. I want to draw your attention to the phrase in particular. Send the enclosed envelope with the enclosed stamp within three days. The enclosed stamp, your honor. Oh. In other words, I have the straight. The stamp poison on the stamp lick. Lick. Get. Now what if he as if the letter ask? He would sign the document and put the envelope and put the stamp right. Then he would put it in his letter box. Fifteen minutes later he would elapse between affixing the stamp and the mailing the letter. But the clock started ticking and when the time came, he drew his last breath. The murder weapon would have been taken away from the scene. Quite convincing, thanks to the postal service. Rock and roll. Such a splendid in the imagination you have ever had. Let me confirm you one thing with you if you I might. So this is poison stamp was inside the envelope from seven years ago, yeah? That was you would have to say believe really <sighs> Well it's a little bit of a stretch, but there's a possibility. Yes, a very small possibility. How small? I wonder. Um, a poison stamp in this envelope. A stamp that then became the murder weapon. <laughs> How do you intend to prove this seeming coincidence? Well, oops, my bad, sorry, 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 sorry. Ugh, it was some years ago. We don't even know who sent the letter. And your answer is silence. I see. Very well, I move to. Wait, who's this? It's not nice to pick on Fraulein Clavalier. Oh. What? Uh, Emma? Like my Christer, Christoph Gavin impression? Did I sound like him? Don't quit your day job. Do you have a crime scene to look after for a line, detective? Someone had to come dig you yeah, of the mess you're making in, of this case. Mess? You know this would have happened if you just trusted in science a little more. You can find this in the stamp. It was just a little envelope easy. Can they explain for a line detective? <sighs> Glare at me all you want, but science is on my side. All, it's all the residue, right? That's right, the poison detection spray. Produce the red envelope at once. You can open it at the authority of the court. Wait, 
Where am I spraying? Look at that. No mistaking it. That's an aquarium residue. I, I, I don't believe it. A murder weapon from the past? Now, seven years later, it bears it fangs at last. Absolutely outrageous. Tell me. Why? Why didn't this murder take place seven years ago? Well, um, there's one possibility. Maybe Mr. Mission figured it out. Figured what out? He realized that the person who sent that letter wanted him dead, and he sent him the reply with a different stamp. But his device, evidence in the frame. Uh, you're still here? <laughs> Oops. Can I see you here on the record? <laughs> oh no. Okay, this is all coming to quite shock. Hmm. Oh, right. Oh, I think the witness is a bad influence on our judge. <laughs> you think? I see no need for the further debate on this matter. I sending the letter the seven years ago could hardly have been our defendant. Apollo, I think we just won. Very well, this court finds the defendant. Is this the bright future of our legal system? Prosecutor Gavin? A ticket to afterlife. From seven years ago, tickets of the Gavineer show are invalid after two weeks. But does it make sense in another way? It boggles my mind that so many people have noticed. There is a fatal contradiction in their forehead's claim. A c contradiction? A poison stamp was placed in the envelope seven years ago. Where was it framed until now? If that's the case. Then why would your mission have done it? Emma explained that. He must have realized it was poison. There lied, lies the rub. Seven years ago, the forger drew mission sent the trap and put the stamp on frame. Do not debate this. This is begs the question. Why, seven years later, did he use the stamp on the night of the murder? Ugh. Surely you don't mean to suggest that Mr. Mission simply forgot? 
<sighs> he put the murder weapon in frame on the desk for seven years later and forgot. You expect us to believe that the springs of the trap on himself. Oh, oh, what? Well, I admit, this is all quite shocking. It does seem highly unlikely that it would fall above the trap that had been sitting on my on his desk. Apollo. I don't think we're winning. I'm glad to see we're in the real world now. Welcome back to reality. We have been waiting for you. Objection! Okay then, how do you explain the poison stamp that was in this envelope? The poison stamp? Where exactly is this poison stamp again? Have you brought it to this court to us? Uh, I see no proof that such a thing ever existed. Objection! What about the artifact of the the residue, huh? Oh, I agree. That does seem to be some residue. But if red, it's certainly no stamp. Yeah, but but even if your precious poison stamp did exist. Your mission would have used it. That is all. I believe it comes to conclusion again. I bought the I can believe it too. The birds are great map in conclusion. I'd like to bring some closure to this issue sometime this year. Mr. Justice. Yes, Your Honor. Why don't you review the facts and see where we stand? Seven years ago, Drew Mission received the red envelope. There were traces of poison on Atroquinian. I'm sorry. On the document. On the document. On inside the envelope. Similar traces were found. At the crime scene, at this tiny picture frame, the defense has indicated the possibility of a yellow envelope. The envelope is left a scene of crime scene, poisoned on it. Stamp. Yes, but even if this envelope contained poison stamp. And Drew Misham knew this, but it in a frame. He never would have used this stamp. I'm afraid you're right, which means there is a fail of flaw in the defense case. The trace of the of the. Acquiring the envelope of the frame, the dream mission, the mysterious staff, they all connected somehow. Mr. Justice, do you have any conclusions for us? The defense stands by the, its case, Your Honor. We've seen that the logical outcome of the evidence makes no sense, which means that the fact it must be a fake. A uh, fake clue, fascinating. It is we find this fake. Your wild fantasies will prove quite reasonable, yeah. The fake clue that is thrown up to us off the poison trail is none other than the red envelope, the frame drew mission.
The victim was fake, Clue? I'm afraid I don't understand. I'll explain. We'll have the envelope, the frame, the mug. Linked by poison. And that it all makes sense. And what doesn't make sense is the victim himself. Objection! Congratulations, you completely lost me. So the fake Evans is none other than the master of the fake himself of the forger. It makes a good story. I give you that. That fake clue, fake forgeries. Ugh! I know that face. That face. I just had an idea. I don't know if I'm right. But I'm going to go with it anyway. What if our forger is a fake? Come again? Seven years ago, our forger sniffed a trap and stepped aside. Seven years have passed. Now the forger stumbles into the same trap and dies. Why? The, that's what I want to know. Because the forger who was killed was a fake. Here we go again. The victim was a fake. One forger smelled a trap. One forger smells fell into the trap. That two forgers and one of them was a fake. Order! So you're telling us Drew Mission was the victim was a fake? Well, if he was the fake, who was the real forger? You're the better clue not to be claiming there was some kind of switcheroo. I'm afraid you're going to back up your story, Mr. Justice. Show us Drew Mission's real. Who was the real Drew Mission was? The true mission wasn't re wasn't a real forger. There was only one person who could have been. Understood, Your Honor. Forger drew mission himself a forgery. The real forger. There can only be one one explanation here. The real identity of the forger, known as Drew Misham, of the, is none other than of, of his own daughter, Vera Misham. Order, order, order. Mr. Justice, this is going on the limb, even for you. I can't agree. I mean, Vera, a forger? Let's consider it before you, you write it off entirely. If you look at the painting in the studio, one fact becomes quite clear. Forgery has been taking place in the studio for that quite some time. The forger wasn't caught off in the trap seven years ago, and that can only mean the one who caught in the trap wasn't the forger. Well, actually, that does make certain kind of sense. One more thing. The two seats of fingerprints were found in the Forger's studio. Drew Mission's and Vera Mission's. If we knew that Drew Mission wasn't a Forger, and that leaves only a possibility of the process by elimination, the Forger was Vera mission well. Fascinating. Vera mission.
We'll continue this in the next one.